Hi there, this is Lee McQueen, and I'm still talking about public affairs of the day, and I'm still on the ballot access tip. Uh, for some reason, it's really captured my attention, um, access to voting rights, and how hard it is, how easy it is, what's going on in which states. And I'm at National Public Radio on their website. And there's an update on Terry McAuliffe, Governor Terry McAuliffe of Virginia, which is a swing state, which may go Democratic or may go Republican or may go uh, Green. <laughs> but um, Terry McAuliffe um, is on the right side of history for this one issue. He has uh, signed an executive order that would restore voting rights to what the National Public Radio is referring to as felons, but um, from my reading, I think they mean ex-felons. These are people who have served and completed their sentence. And if they've done that, I believe that they are ex-felons and not felons. But it's being described this way, and it's raising up a lot of um, back and forth. Um, the Virginia court overruled uh, Terry McAuliffe's uh, executive order uh, returning those voting rights to ex-felons. <laughs> the Virginia Supreme Court ruled that Terry McAuliffe, Gov Governor Terry McAuliffe, does not have the authority for a blanket restoration of voting rights to the state's felons. So the sweeping, as they describe it, executive order that he enacted in April uh, it actually uh, affected over 206,000 felons in the state. 43, the state justices said, under the state constitution of Virginia, that McAuliffe just did not have the authority for such a proclamation, that he would have to do it one by one and examine each case individually and take the nature of the sentence, or the nature of the crime of which they had been convicted into account. And so I, I do believe that despite his FBI uh, investigation, Governor Terry McAuliffe, and his close association with Hillary Clinton, I believe that on this um, issue that Terry McAuliffe is on the right side of history, if not for uh, questionable motives. <laughs> the motives might, might be questionable, but the effort is the right thing to do. Uh, because uh, the only other state that is the only other state that hold a si similar position to Governor Terry McAuliffe are um, Iowa, Kentucky, and another state uh, that I don't really see right now. It's in this article, and I'll post the link. Um, scrolling through it, and I'm just missing it. I think there's like three other states, definitely. Iowa and Kentucky, and then another state, do not allow um, voting rights to be restored. And so the interesting thing is that Virginia is um, even stricter and more conservative or in intolerant on this issue even than the state of Texas. And so that's pretty extreme. And so is Iowa, and so are Kentucky. And so all other states, there's a process where someone who served a felony conviction and has completed their sentence, they can apply um, individually, um, or in some states, there is that blanket um, allowance, but they, they can apply to receive a restoration of their voting rights, and that's the case in Texas. And so, um, just uh, an interesting issue here. In California, there's also a relaxing of the rules where whereby um, it's not even a case where a, a, a felon would have to wait until the sentence is complete. In, in the state of California, there are efforts to make it possible for a felon still serving a sentence, as long as it's in jail, to have their voting rights restored or have the ability to cast a ballot. So that's our 50 states. Every state has their own way of conducting their elections and of ballot access. And it would, I think it would be nice if, if it were streamlined. Although, you know, states' rights and there's reasons for everything. And so every state has kind of got their own 
individual right to govern their own electoral process. But I think some things should be universal. Um, you know, we've got different voter IDs, different deadlines, different, um, you know, situations regarding um, criminal records and felony status. And so it's all over the place. <laughs> But I'm going to post a link um, in the description of this issue and just let people read through it and see what they think um, about, you know, what Terry McAuliffe is trying to do. Um, some people are saying it's politically um, motivated to assist Hillary Clinton, and I suspect that it is. But I do um, acknowledge, um, regardless, that it is right, the right thing to do and that Terry McAuliffe seems to be very determined to see it done. Um, even if he has to do it one by one. So, interesting news.